Welcome back. I'm Anna Tarullo. You may be getting ready to leave Athens for the Thanksgiving holiday, but there's one group who is actually trying to find a place to stay, the homeless. Some of the homeless shelters have been feeling all of their beds. Reporter Kendall Trammell tells us about how some UGA students say they think they've even seen them on campus. So, Kendall, are homeless people really sleeping in some of UGA's buildings? Well, that's the problem, Anna. There's not an exact way to tell who's coming in and who's coming out of buildings like the Miller Learning Center. And if they're not causing a public disturbance, UGA officials say they can stay in the building as long as it's open. Homeless shelters like Bigger Vision work hard to help people looking for shelter. But even with 36 beds, it's a challenge to say yes to everyone. Coming in at eight really just uh, guarantees that they'll get in out of the weather. Those who aren't fortunate enough to be on one of those 36 have to search elsewhere. And there's no way to tell for sure but some UGA students think they've seen some homeless people looking in places like the Miller Learning Center. Because he seemed um, cold and was sleeping on the bench, and so at that point, uh, I felt very sorry for the individual who did not have a place to stay. Anyone can walk into the Miller Learning Center. It may be centered around students, but it's still a public space. Obviously, we're a public institution, and, and we welcome anybody who wants to use our resources. Um, our priority are students, faculty, and staff. Unless there is a security risk, UGA officials say that anyone can come in and enjoy the services of the building. Now, there is one policy that UGA has for the MLC. After midnight, UGA officials can come around and ask students and anyone that's in the building to show their UGA IDs. And if you don't have a valid reason for being in the building, you may be asked to leave. I'm Kendall Trammell, live in the newsroom.